More prayers, advice, and wishes came pouring in for the newly wedded couple. It feels amazing. I'm so happy for him. I wish him and his wife the best, and hopefully they have a blessed marriage. I wish him success. I wish him happiness. I just, I wish him all the best. <laughs> all the favors that comes with to marriage will be theirs in Jesus' name. Whatever God promise them will be fulfilled by God's grace. Successful marriage is built on hard work and of course commitment. And most marriages, most successful marriages, are also built on teamwork, uh, mutual respect for each other, and of course on ending love and grace. We're talking about love. The foundation of what we are doing here today is the love of God. Once you have that in everything that you do, including marriages, then the marriages become blissful. Communication becomes easier. Everything becomes great. You learn to forgive each other. You learn to tolerate each other. So I'm advising them to hold on to the core, the foundation of what we're doing here today, which is the love of God. And I pray that their marriage will be very successful, will be very productive, and I pray that God will give them the strength to hold on to their vows, for that is the most important thing, and their love will be as an engine as a wedding ring. I wish them many, many, many more years together in marital bliss, and I wish them enough kids, um, triplets, twins, quadruplets, quintuplets, sextuplets, anything. I just want, I wish them kids, you know, and I wish them very good life together. Here in Nigeria, or while they go back to Chicago, where they are from, I wish them the very best. Um, I'm happy, I'm proud, so much joy in my heart, just to see Wally getting married, finally, <laughs> you know, um, just proud. He's, he's a man now, you know, and um, I just, I'm loving the man he's becoming. I'm loving the man that he's becoming, and I just pray that um, God will bless their union, and God will always be with him and Tokumbo. And I wish them all the best in life. I wish her and her husband a uh, happy married life. Um, I pray they continue to learn each other's love language. They continue to support each other, love each other, um, continue to pray for each other. Um, may their union be forever lasting. Um, I pray for beautiful children um, and long life of prosperity. Just take it easy and live your life. Yeah, everything will be good. I pray that they have an amazing marriage. I pray for, for nothing but the very best for them. And I pray that God genuinely blesses their marriage and blesses all things concerning them. We wish them long life. We wish them happiness together. And everything they want in this marriage, we hope that God will bless them for it. I wish them a happy married life. I wish that they will have children to their satisfaction. I wish that the two of them will progress very far in professional life, in spiritual life, and in economic life. And of course, what's a wedding reception without the customary toss of the bouquet? My advice for them is to work together, work together, try and you know, try and work together, enjoy themselves. Don't stress, don't stress over the little things. And we as friends will support them. There is so many ups and downs, but you just have to navigate through it. It's just patience, just have patience. And what you need to do is, women, they will get you upset. All you need to do is just leave the house and come back when the storm is calm. <laughs> so that's my only advice to him. Like you said, it's an institution. So an institution, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So I would say um, patience, you know, love, 
love should be powerful enough to see everything through. So I'll just give, tell them to be patient and, um, yeah, just both of them to enjoy each other. That's all. Um, pray to God. Listen to, listen to your wife and uh, don't listen to outsiders. Just pray to God for, for advice and listen to what your wife says and trust in the process. Um, I would just say be like patience and just understanding and just keep keep the faith even through the troubling times. Wale, this is for you. A woman will always be a woman. Please be there for your wife. It is well with you. Everything you lay your hands on will be favored. Everything you will need to be to Kumba's husband will be favored and provided by God to you. God will bless your union. God will bless your home. God will bless your work. Um, as a newlywed couple, um, I would let them know that it's important for them to be friends. It's important for them to always respect one another. It's important for them to always know that there will always be disagreements. But they should always desire to solve whatever disagreement it is and always come to a happy medium that nobody can win in disagreement. Coming to a peaceful agreement will always mean for the betterment of the relationship and the betterment of the union. No, so I tell young couples that they must understand that this is a marathon, it's not a hundred meter dash, and they must make up their mind to work together to make their marriage work. Once they do that, they'll find a mechanism for resolving their differences, and then they'll just work stronger and stronger and stronger. Marriage is all about, is all about um, dying your ego. Because if you have ego in marriage, it's not going to work. Marriage is all about patience. You need enough patience. But so I advise the groom to be patient with the bride. It's very, very, very important to make things go. And I would, and I would like them to strengthen their communication channel, that means of communication. Because in marriage, you need the tools for communication, which would, you know, which would entail smooth relationship and smooth you know, knowing each other. So you need good communication skills. And I will advise the husband to, to always, you know, share things that is personal to him, to the bride. Because women, naturally, they are home builders. They are builders. So to have a very smooth marriage, you must first create a friendship with your wife. It's going to help you. So I would advise the groom to create much more friendship with the, with the, with the wife. My advice is to... Um always put his wife first you know um and god they should put god honestly with god and patience a lot of patience it might seem like you're being the dumb one but you're not dumb you're not dumb patience 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 and god god ut ut utmost god uh, my advice would be you know take it softly take it gently uh this new life that you're starting, you know, wishing you guys the best. Just make sure that, you know, you put God first. Put God first, which is the most important thing, and, you know, everything will fall in place. In terms of advice, I would say patience is key. And um, the first year might be a bit challenging because they're going to be getting to know each other. But at the end of the day, there's absolutely nothing that they can achieve once they realize that they're on the same team. It can be a challenge. But as long as they have um, a communication between them, they should have a um, tolerance level and they should understand one another, they will enjoy their married life. To love each other, to know that you see, life is not about money only, that they should be friends to each other and they love each other and uh, try to be able to make a good example in the society. For the man, the most important thing is patience. You, women are a different breed. And if you are not patient with them, there will be trouble. Okay, that is well. Then two, both the Quran and the Bible says love your wife. Show some love to your wife. So that is the second one. The third one is that you pray to God to provide you with all the things you need to take care of your woman. And if granted, then every other issue becomes easy. It's here. Yeah. 
marriage is hard, but as a man, it needs to be calm. You know, when the going goes shaky, you know. But we women, we are hard to deal with. I know, but as I always said, say to him, you have to be calm. No matter what it is, you head of the household, you calm down. When you think you can handle it, move up. I mean, get up for a little while, come back, talk to your wife, she'll be calm. The event was full of glitz and shine, which everyone gathered prayed would be available in the married life of Zainab and Elias as they began their first baby steps into the institution of marriage with renewed love and support for each other. Um, for everybody that came out and supported me, I really appreciate it. Me and my wife appreciate it. Thank you so much and uh, we look forward to celebrating with you. We 
just witnessed the wedding ceremony of Mr. and Mrs. Olawale Bello. A hearty congratulations to them and we wish them a happy married life. And that was a Crop Blog reporting and I am Prince Ganyu.